Welcome back, beautiful people, to another terrible unboxing on... On today's episode of Trey the Terrible Collector, we are going to be continuing uh, with the X-Men Classics Light Up Weapon series. Um, this is a real treat for me. I think that this is my absolute favorite figure in the whole Toy Biz line. And I'm so friggin' excited about it. Um, we have two variants of the Juggernaut figure. Uh, this one is going to have the traditional red armor with a little bit of orange. And this one has some gold and some black. Uh, I'm really excited about this. The first version of Juggernaut that we opened was way back in Series 1. Um, it was diminutive. Uh, he was cool, I guess, for the time. But this is incredible. I'm so excited to open this guy up. So this juggernaut is definitely one I had as a kid. This is the version that I had. And first thing I love are the proportions. This juggernaut, look at his arms. They're friggin' huge. They're absolutely enormous. Um, his head is a little bit small but that is because we got a helmet. Um, removable helmets are... Wow, that looks good. Um, re always cool in this series. The Genesis, the Magneto, the Wolverine, they all look really cool. The Deadpool 2, um, and this one's great. That's just... I mean, that's Juggernaut. But that just looks so awesome. The detail in the muscle, the variation between the muscle and the armor, like the attention to all that detail, the wicked veins in his hands. And like his hands are big enough that like they've he's got fingernails and everything. And this head, despite being pretty small, has a ton of detail in the paint job on the eyes and the mouth. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Um the boots have a nice matte finish on them. Um so it kind of just I don't know, it looks he just looks good to go. He's ready to like tear into something. Now he is armed with the hammer of Sidorak. So it's got the crimson gem right there in the middle, uh, some sweet skull decals on there. And this was way before the hammer story, whatever that was. I don't really remember. But let's give it a go. Let's see if this one lights up. Ah, damn. I was really, really open. All right, but. Super cool, just dope figure, dope accessory, everything about it. My absolute favorite. And the variant that I've never seen before. Let's let's just get her on open. Let's check it out. Um, <clears throat> so this version I wasn't initially going to buy because the, the, the images didn't look like there was that much difference between the two, but I finally saw one in person, and I just... I thought, black and gold uh, just looks wicked wicked cool he's also got a slightly different skin pigmentation um and it looks like yeah his hair too like everything's just a little bit different um super attention to detail the gold's nice and metallic on this like that's really neat um the helmet is also gold so that's pretty cool i'm actually gonna so you can see how much difference there actually is. That's pretty neat. Um, gold version, absolutely awesome. Um, and his hammer is yellow to match the gold and black on the uh, the handle of the hammer. So that's super neat. Man, come on, baby. One for however many so far uh, to light up even a little bit. So that's... That's not the best. Um, but, regardless of whether they light up, those are friggin' cool-looking toys. I'm absolutely psyched to have these in the collection. Um, awesome. I can't wait. We're gonna finish up this series with our next, uh, with our next episode. And, um, if you're watching the X-Men 97 series... Uh, and you haven't caught up all the way, you might not want to watch that one. There will be spoilers for the for everything that's going on in there. Um, but as always, thank you so much for for joining me, unboxing these. I'm so glad we made it this far. I'm so glad you were here with me. Y'all have been wonderful, and I have been terrible. 
We'll see you again soon.